Kibi classic body type is a Princess of Monaco type of a girl. I would like to remind those who came to this channel searching for information about types according to David Kibi's theory that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with the clients, so it is based on my practical stylistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person, and my perception of external and internal factors such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses both to this and any other information given to you. So here I go, I'm going to take Kibi's original 13 types and discuss them as I see them. The main feature of the Kibi classic body type is symmetry and ideal proportions, observed both in facial features and in the body structure. As you know, these are very rare features, consequently classic women are probably the smallest group of all 13 types. Balanced symmetry and ideal proportions are desirable characteristic for most women. Unfortunately, these ideal qualities seem almost unrealistic. It seems that classical women do not exist at all, and we are dealing here with a purely theoretical type. David Kibbe indeed pointed out in his book that there might be slight deviations from the description of the model in this type. However, in the end, classical beauty is a very unusual phenomenon. The yin and yang elements are supposed to be in perfect balance. At the same time, they do not manifest themselves in their extreme forms, as in this case with the Gavin types, for example. The eyes are never very large, the lips are not too full, and there is no boyish silhouette like the Gavin type or two round shapes, for example. In the classical type, the elements of yin and yang, divine male and female, are in perfect balance. As a result, they create a woman of model beauty full of harmony. It is worth emphasizing that perfect classic beauty is not characteristic of typical feminine attributes. If this were the case, the female yin element would have to dominate. None of the elements dominant in the classic type, resulting in a pure and noble self-sufficient beauty. The structure of the body can also show slight tendencies towards masculine type. As you can see, this is the perfect balance between yin and yang. The leading representatives of the classic are Princess of Monaco, Grace Kelly, and the biggest star of French cinema, Catherine Deneuve. Although these days they are sometimes classified as soft classic due to the minimal dominance of the female yin element, in principle, ideal faces and silhouettes do not exist, and classical beauty dominates certain features and not their absolute whole. Therefore, Grace Kelly and Catherine can easily be considered representatives of the classic type. Among the stars of the younger generation, the red-haired Amy Adams stands out with classic beauty. How does the classic woman get on this list? The classic body concept, the distinctive features. Height from 164 cm to 174 cm. Medium vertical lines. Body type usually a rectangle. Shoulders slightly sloping in proportion to the hips arms and legs in proportion or slightly longer in relation to the body, palms and feet proportionate or moderate size, bust medium proportional, hips in proportion to the arms and waist, forearms proportional medium length, classic face features. The lower part of the face is proportional without massive features, nose as well proportional, medium size, cheekbones, symmetrical, eyes will be symmetrically proportional, medium size and shaped, medium spacing between the eyes, lips thin, not too full, cheeks 
slightly defined. In this typology, Kibi places the classic clearly in the center of yin and yang scale and defines them as refined lady. The classic embody perfect balance, harmony, stability, symmetry is all about them. They have a regular, symmetrical, well-defined face line. The front and profile are balanced and verified as if nature itself has found a middle ground. Representatives of this type, they look elegant, organized and balanced. Clear cheekbones, naturally arched and slightly raised eyebrows calm eyes, clear gaze, the lips are almost always even and thin, medium fullness. They cannot be called either very thin or too full. Image brings calmness and confidence without any special emotions. In the face of this type, one can always feel a kind of nobility and aristocracy. The physique of the Kiwi classic body type is also harmonious and balanced. The structure of the skeleton is well proportionate. The figure is straight and can be slightly angular, but not too much, for example, uh, like in the dramatic body type. The proportions of the chest, waist, hips proportions are harmonious, without pronounced changes or volumes, as we saw in romantic body type. The limbs are of medium length, might be slightly longer, the body type is not voluminous just in general. In short, the classic body types are balanced with a harmonious type of beauty. This is why the beauty of the classic type does not immediately strike the eye. But when you begin to study the facial features of such girls, admiration for this harmony comes easy. Not by the brightness of the features that are striking like huge eyes, full lips, large noses, they are harmonious and quite correct, if we may say so. And of course, restraint, aristocracy, minimalism will be the best coordination for a classic type girl. And we move on to style guidelines now. Kibi classic body type style. Symmetry is the main key to understanding the basis of the image for the classics. The lines of your clothing should follow the lines of your body. It would be best if you always thought over your set of clothing from head to toe. The negligence and eclecticism are now quite popular, but those can destroy the harmony of the image of the classics. In my experience, the classics intuitively feel what fits them well and are drawn to very simple, clear and correct shapes as well as lines. The classic type is truly luxuriously revealed and surrounded by expensive quality fabrics. When I shop with classic body type owners, we focus not on quantity but always on the quality of things and materials. For a Kibi classic body type, the statement less is more is true. In short, this is the pickiest type of investing in a wardrobe. Fabrics should be more moderate, of moderate density, made with very light sheen. In the details, you must adhere to minimalism. They only complete the image but never draw attention to themselves. Colors neutral, monochrome, color scheme, low contrast and uh, low color combinations. Prints should be symmetrical, non-contrasting. Jackets and blazers. Choose jackets of standard length, slightly longer than the beginning of the thigh, simple and concise in shape, following the contours of the body. Skirts and dresses. It should be simple and smooth, of medium length, around the knee, with a minimum of detail. There may be slight folds draperies, pants or shorts. In the spirit of minimalism, a perfect fit, tailored things, minimum details and not too wide. Blouses, regular fit in elegant silk or soft cotton. Knitwear, warm sweaters and cardigans shouldn't be heavy looking. Choose smooth knits and fine knits such as cashmere or silk. Bags, made of soft leather with a clear shape and medium size, like uh, Hermes Kelly. 
decorations. Choose sleek, elegant and symmetrical. Decorations should not be large and catchy and there should not be many of them at the same time. The hairstyle should be smooth and well groomed. If your hair is curly, it shouldn't look chaotic. The preferred length is medium. Hair color should be as natural and as rich as possible. Makeup. Try to keep it moderate with fuzzy edges, well shaded. If your appearance has high contrast, then makeup should be brighter. If it's low, then should be less. In short, strive for balance. I hope this information was useful for you. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. See you in the next episode.